Okay, this is how you do basic solving. Solving just means tell me what x equals. If I have a problem x plus 3 equals 7, I want to find out what x equals. The goal is to get x on one side of the equal sign, everything else to the other. In other words, I want to know what x equals. Here's my equal sign. I have this 3 over here. I need to get the 3 to the other side. The way we do this, we always do the opposite math. Now, some of you, just looking at this, you can tell me x equals 4 because 4 plus 3 equals 7. But this is how we do it mathematically. We're going to do the opposite math. This side, what is the 3 doing? It's adding. The opposite of adding 3 is subtracting 3. And you have to do it to both sides to even this thing out. So 3 minus 3 cancels out, and we're left with just x on the left-hand side. 7 minus 3 is 4. So my answer is x equals 4. Okay, this one over here, x minus 3 equals 7. Now, some people could say, okay, 10 minus 3 is 7. But this is how we do it mathematically. Ask yourself, what is this 3 doing on this side? I have to get it to the other side somehow by doing the opposite math. And that's the key, doing opposite math. The opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0. Do you see on my left side, I have x by itself. And that's the goal. Look up here. I want x by itself. x equals and then whatever. On the right-hand side, 7 plus 3 is 10. Now I know what x equals. x equals 10. Okay, let's try a couple more. 3x equals 24. 3 is times. So there's a multiply sign between them. 3 times x equals 24. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide this side by 3, and I'm going to divide this side by 3. Opposite of 3 times is 3 divide. 3 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x. Another way of saying 1x is just by writing x. 24 divided by 3. Whatever you do to one side, you've got to do the other. 24 divided by 3 is 8. My answer here is x equals 8. Do you see if you plug 8 back in the original problem, 3 times 8 equals 24? That's a good answer. Now I have x divided by 3 equals 9. So on this side, what is the 3 doing? It's the dividing. The opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. So I'm going to multiply the left side by 3, and I'm going to multiply the right side by 3. 3 on top, 3 on the bottom, they cancel out. It's like saying 3 divided by 3. Once again, just like we did over there, 3 divided by 3 equals 1 with an x. Another way of saying 1x is just x. If you want to say 1x, you can, but the easier way to say 1x is just x. The 1 in front of it is invisible. On the right-hand side, since I multiply the left side by 3, I'm going to multiply the right side by 3. 9 times 3 is 27. My answer is x equals 27. Okay, so that's d getting rid of one item to the other side. Now we're going to get rid of more than one item to the other side. I have, here's my equal sign. I have a 6 I want to take to the other side, and I have a 2 I want to take to the other side. Now, there's an order that we do basic solving. You have to do the add and subtracts to the other side first. And then, second, you're going to do the multiply and divide. What is this 6 doing to the left-hand side? It's adding. What is the 2 doing? Do you see? It's multiplying times the x. The basic steps say, make sure you do the add and subtracts to the other side first. So this is an add 6. I'm going to do the opposite. We're always going to do the opposite. 
So the opposite of adding 6, do the add and subtracts first. The opposite of adding 6 is subtracting 6. So we're going to subtract 6 to both sides. 6 minus 6 on the left-hand side is 0. We're just left with the 2x. On the right-hand side, 20 minus 6 is 14. Okay, we did the add and subtract. Now we're going to do the multiply. It's 2 times x. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1x. Another way of saying 1x is just x. On the right-hand side, 14 divided by 2 is 7. And my answer is x equals 7. And the last problem, I want to get rid of the 5 to the other side. And I want to get rid of the 3. Do the add and subtracts first. This is a minus 5. This is a 3 times. We're going to do the minus 5 first. The opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. So we're going to plus 5 to both sides. 5 minus 5 is 0. We're left with 3x equals 19. Now we're, it's 3 times x. The opposite of timesing is dividing. So I'm going to divide this side by 3 and this side by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1x. 19 divided by 3 is a decimal number. Don't put a decimal number down unless they specifically ask for a decimal number. So 19 divided by 3 is a decimal. I'm going to leave it as 19 over 3. I'm going to leave it in fraction form since it is a decimal. If I had 18 over 3 as an answer, 18 over 3, 18 divided by 3 is 6. It turns into a whole number. However, 19 over 3 doesn't change into a whole number. It changes into a decimal, 6.333. So I'm going to leave it as an improper fraction like this. This is the basic steps on how to solve for x. Thank you for watching the video.